What's going on guys? This is Rob and we are back again with another episode of our Versus series here on Patreon. We're actually going to make this video public so people over on the main YouTube channel are aware of what kind of stuff we do and also because of Spider-Man week. And we have a really interesting matchup with two versions of Spider-Man going head to head as we pit the original Spider-Man, Peter Parker, against that new hotness Spider-Man, Miles Morales. Deadass. We're doing Miles Morales, y'all. You guys, like people on, on Twitter have been asking me to say that for a while because like I said it in a tweet like dead ass people didn't believe that i they're like i don't know maybe they just couldn't imagine me saying that but regardless before we decide which is truly the superior spider-man we're going to go over the origins and powers of each character and we'll start with the og peter parker and because spider-man is one of the most well-known characters in the world i'm sure you've all heard his origin multiple times so we'll try to be brief in describing it here so peter parker was a kid who was bitten by a radioactive spider and got powers okay now as for his powers peter parker possesses superhuman strength speed durability agility, reflexes, leaping abilities, and a healing factor. Now, Spider-Man is able to lift multiple tons and is able to pick up trucks, tanks, and has even held up a jet and the Daily Bugle skyscraper. Not at the same time, but like he's held he's held them up like at different points in time. And this is an area where Spider-Man is consistently underrated, which is understandable to an extent because he exists in a universe with characters like Hulk and Thor, but we really shouldn't forget that Spider-Man is freakishly strong. In fact, if he didn't pull his punches, he would be straight up punching the heads off most of his enemies. Now, in addition to his strength, Peter has insanely fast reflexes, so fast that he can dodge bullets. His durability is much higher than that of a normal human, and he can recover from damage quickly thanks to his healing factor. Now, the amount of damage he can heal from is not infinite, as his healing factor is not on par with people like Wolverine or Deadpool, but he can still heal very effectively from most injuries. Now, one of Peter's signature abilities is his spider sense, which is the tingling feeling he feels that warns him of impending danger, which greatly reduces his reaction time. And then of course, you know, he can crawl on walls and do whatever a spider can do, except make webs. Now, despite the fact that we most often see Spidey swinging around the city on ropes made of spider webs, making webs is actually not part of Peter Parker's power set. The webs are actually generated by mechanical web shooters that Peter invented shortly after becoming Spider-Man because he's also a scientific genius. Now, in addition to swinging around cities, Spider-Man also uses his webbing as a projectile weapon or a nearly inescapable sticky substance in which to restrain his enemies. Now, going up against Peter Parker, we have a guy who, in all honesty, I actually like more than Peter Parker, Miles Morales, who was created by Brian Michael Bendis and Sarah Pichelli, or Pichelli, I've heard it pronounced both ways, and he first appeared in Ultimate Fallout number 4 in 2011. So, Miles originated in Marvel's Ultimate Universe, which was created in the year 2000 as a line of comics where classic characters could have their origins and stories updated without the writers having to worry about decades of continuity and fans complaining. And so Miles' origin is tied to a chemical called Oz, which was created by Osborne Industries in an attempt to recreate the super soldier serum that created Captain America. Now, when Miles' uncle Aaron, better known as the Prowler, and probably the best version of the Prowler in Marvel Comics because Hobie Brown sucks, when he breaks in to steal the formula, unbeknownst to him, a spider that had been exposed to the chemical crawls in his back. Now, later, that spider would crawl out and bite Miles Morales which gave him superpowers. Now, initially, Miles does not want to use his powers at all, but after the Ultimate Universe's version of Peter Parker is killed by the Green Goblin, as Miles looks on without intervening, he takes up the mantle of Spider-Man. And since that time, Miles has become so popular that when the Ultimate Universe ended, he was brought over into the main continuity and has been the focal point of his own animated movie. Now, Miles' powers are similar to Peter's, but there are some key differences. Miles has all the traditional Spider-Man powers, superhuman strength and agility, the ability to adhere to surfaces and crawl up walls, and a spider sense to warn him of immediate threats. However, his spider sense is not as advanced as Peter's. Now, Miles is able to lift objects weighing up to 10 tons and was able to punch through Captain America's shield with one blow, although this particular shield was just solid steel, not the vibranium alloy that Captain America's shield is traditionally made of in the main Marvel Universe. Now, as for the unique powers that Miles has, he's able to make himself invisible and have an attack called the Venom Strike, which is a burst of energy channeled through his gloves that can paralyze his opponents and looks amazing in the PS4 game. And much like his predecessor, Miles uses web shooters that produce a synthetic webbing to do all the cool Spider-Man stuff like swinging from buildings. So in this battle, we have two characters with very similar powers, but each character also has distinct advantages over their opponents. This is going to be a tough one. So we have both characters with superhuman physical attributes, and they appear to be pretty much equal 
comparable in terms of strength, agility, durability, and reflexes. If we were going to give an advantage here, we'd probably give the advantage to Peter just based on the feats that we've seen him pull off. But I think they're close enough to equal that strength will not be a significant advantage for either one. Now, Miles also has abilities that Peter does not, most notably the paralyzing venom strike and the spider camouflage, which allows him to become invisible. And I think the spider camouflage is going to be a bigger factor here because obviously becoming invisible is going to give you a huge advantage in battle. On the other hand, one advantage that Peter has is that he's a better fighter than Miles, mostly due to the fact that he's been Spider-Man for so long and has actually gotten training from people like Shang-Chi or Taskmaster, some of the best fighters in the Marvel Universe. So I think Miles is going to have a hard time landing the Venom Strike, although if he does manage to do it, then he'd be clearly able to gain the upper hand. Now, as for the spider camouflage, although that clearly has potential to be a big advantage in most battles, Peter's highly sensitive spider sense is likely going to minimize the effect because it will alert him to which direction Miles is coming from. Then we have Peter's advantages, one of which is that Peter is one of the smartest people in the Marvel Universe, which is easy to forget when he's constantly working alongside Reed Richards and Tony Stark, but this is something that cannot be ignored. In addition to an advantage in intelligence, Peter has an overwhelming advantage in experience since he's been Spider-Man for far longer than Miles has, and I think that will likely be the key factor here, as Peter is just far more adept at using his powers than Miles at this point. So that experience will outweigh Miles' unique powers, and it will ultimately give Peter the win. So that's what we're doing here. We're chalking this win up to Peter Parker. Honestly, I think this is a good call. I love Miles. Miles is fascinating. His story is incredible. I think he's a lot more interesting than Peter Parker is. But at the end of the day, Peter Parker's just been doing this much longer than Miles has. Plus, the two of them also fought in the comics and Peter Parker won. So with that being said, guys, we're going to bring this to an end. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you check out Patreon and I will catch you all later. Peace.